Throughout the history of Counter-Strike, cheaters have come up with some pretty interesting ways to break the game. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window. Now as you guys know, Counter-Strike is a game overrun by cheaters. And because of this, cheat creators have to come up with more and more interesting ways to cheat the game. After all, the whole point of cheating is to give yourself an unfair advantage. But if everyone's cheating, how are you going to go about doing that? Now here is one of the most famous clips in the history of CSGO. Here you find Shroud playing in a game against cheaters when suddenly something unexpected happened. <laughs> the cheating terrorist spawns in CT spawn with the counter terrorist. Now while this next cheat may look the same, it is vastly different than the first one. Whereas he teleported into CT spawn in that first cheat, in this one, after the round expires, instead of your character resetting, you're still able to move freely. This allows you to walk around and place yourself as the freeze time begins. <laughs> but obviously, cheaters weren't content with this and wanted to push it even farther. And that's when this cheat came along. Not only were you able to teleport, you were also able to respawn if you died. Alright, enough for now about the teleportation and spawn cheats. Let's move on to something different. Have you ever felt like the bomb took too long to explode? Well, obviously some cheater did and decided to make an instant bomb explosion hack. And as if this weren't enough of an advantage, they decided, you know what, if I can make the bomb explode instantly, why don't I try making it so that the bomb diffuses instantly? Screw kits. And that's when the diffuse hack was born. Well, that's one way to save yourself a little bit of time and $400 around. But what if you're playing against cheaters and you're in a hacker versus hacker situation? What's the best way to win here? Well, we've all heard of spin bots and reverse aim by this point, but what if you want to go a little extra creative? Well, what about turning your hitboxes completely sideways or even just getting rid of them altogether? But what if your opponent can get to some place faster than you expect? This hack has been plaguing servers all the way since back in Counter-Strike 1.6. And while it's nowhere near as effective as it was in Counter-Strike 1.6, it's still possible and even the slightest increase in movement speed can give someone a significant advantage. Plus on top of that, it's said that this hack can actually make you run through walls. Obviously this cheat can be very similar to a B-Hop script, but while B-Hop scripts are quite common, this one's a little bit harder to stumble upon. Next up we have a hack called Air Stuck which allows you to float on pretty much every wall. Talk about a good way to get into a random position that no one would expect. Now I'm sure a lot of players out there remember the pro that was caught cheating named Forsaken. You know the one that was literally caught cheating at a LAN tournament. He used a pretty basic cheat called Word EXE and he almost got away with it too if it weren't for those meddling admins. It's amazing how far he was able to go using a basic paste, but that just shows that you can't underestimate even a basic cheat. For example, this is an auto hotkey script. SV cheats is on zero, right? SV cheats zero. There should be no cheating happening. This is always active on the online service, right? Yeah. SV cheats zero. But if I go into my not sus at all order uh, folder, and open this shit, and now it's running in the background. Okay, SV cheats zero. It's still off, right? F10. Boom, yeah. You're building some. Yeah, my time is. Uh, the Arabian Prince, the guy with all the, like all the souvenir dragon lores and shit. You don't he got hacked. Like it. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, he bypassed the Steam card, uh, Steam yeah. card thingy. That's fucking insane. I mean, face it, his bottle, everything, like it's really fucking. Like, it's not gonna be the thing at all. It's, they don't record your POV. They only record the demo. So, okay, there's an enemy coming. Check this out. 
bro, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, no one ever said that cheaters were good, but why am I highlighting this specific cheat? Well, not only can it work on Face It, but the way that it works is actually quite interesting. From how I was explained, it basically makes it so you can use SV cheat commands when SV cheats is set to zero. This means you can easily exploit the game and give yourself no clip, god mode, and wall hacks, as well as other cheats, without even having to download a program. I mean, think about it. This pretty much gives you every cheat I've mentioned so far in this video. And as far as I know, this cheat still works on Face It and matchmaking. Come on, Valve, I know you can do better than this. From cheaters trolling legitimate players to cheaters just getting straight up trolled. I'm sure you guys have seen Script Kid's fake cheat software in action. Basically, he programs cheats that look like regular cheats, but have what he calls punishments. For example, this guy can't plant the bomb, and every time he tries to throw down the bomb, it actually throws down one of his weapons. Or when this guy tries to aim at a target and shoot, his crosshair just jumps everywhere. You can definitely understand why he calls it maximum recoil. And he's not the only one making troll cheats out there. You can actually find quite a few games out there where you'll find someone has downloaded the wrong cheat package. From trolling cheaters to the most visually impressive cheats in the game. Now when most people think about movement cheats, they usually think about bee hopping. But that is far more commonplace and nowhere near as visually entertaining as fluid movement cheats. These cheats will make your movements seem like an absolute pro. And that's what makes these cheats so hard to detect. See, unlike a b-hop script, which is technically going to make the impossible happen due to how b-hopping works in Counter-Strike, let me explain for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about. In CSGO, every time you make a jump, when you land, there is a coin flip that happens. If it turns zero, then you can't do another jump immediately. But if it turns to one, then you can, allowing you to bunny hop. Now this means no matter how good you are at timing your jumps, there is no way to consistently bunny hop in CSGO unless you're on a b-hop server. What a bunny hop script does is not only times the jumps right, but always makes sure that variable is a one to allow you to continue to jump. Meanwhile, when it comes to incredibly high-skilled long jumps, you can be far more consistent. Which means that this cheat is practically unbannable by Overwatch standards. Making you appear to be what can only be described as a mesmerizing movement god. Anyways guys, that's all the obscure cheats I have for you today. While I don't like to promote cheating, I do have to say there are definitely some pretty interesting cheats and concepts here. Definitely far more interesting than the typical aim lock, recoil hack, wall hack, b-hop script, and spin bot. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell for more content like it. And as always, have a great day.